The Moro reflex is a primitive reflex present in all infants under three months of age before being inhibited by six months of age. In infants, it is best tested using a method involving the head drop, and we can replicate this in older children as seen here. We lift the child's head up and briskly lower it back down to a level surface. At the time that it is being lowered, we ask the child to bring their arms up and across their body to be across their chest. In the presence of a persistent moral response or a fail on this exam, we may notice a delay or incomplete or absent arm movements. They also may dislike this actual test and start to pale in the face in response. In some kids, we may need to test this in a seated position. Again, sit in the child, we briskly lay them backwards and observe for any changes that suggest persistence of that moral reflex. It is important to note that this reflex is principally mediated by a region known as the vestibular nucleus, a site at which input from the neck and balance centers convert. As such, we find that we often need to incorporate neck motion on testing. As it is tied in with the vestibular response, we can also challenge this one utilizing a balance test. In this crossover balance test, failure to maintain balance with the legs crossed over has been attributed to persistence of the moral reflex. However, as this test may be influenced by other factors, including persistent tonic labyrinthine reflex or a problem with the amphibian reflex, we cannot take it as a definitive positive in isolation. The same can be said for the duck and pigeon tests. Here on the duck walk, we ask the child to externally rotate their feet. In the presence of a coupled motion where we see arms externally rotating or in the pigeon walk internally rotating with internally rotated legs, this is also suggestive of persistence of the moral response, as the moral itself is an ipsilateral response linking arm and legs in a coupled motion. However, this test cannot also be used in isolation and should be used in conjunction with other tests.